welcome YouTubers to Meetings at Home, episode number four. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe below. It notifies you when we have a new video coming out. Exciting time today. We are firing up our brisket, which is one of my favorite menu items. That's been one of the hardest meats to master. It's taken us a long time to finally perfect it, and we're still always trying to improve. We smoke it overnight using our maple wood for about 12 to 14 hours, depending on the size. That's one thing about brisket. It always varies in size, so whenever we get a brisket, it's always kind of a new battle, how we're going to trim it, how long it's going to cook for, how much seasoning it takes. So today you'll see a little portion of our brisket, which I have here in our pot. It's been cooking for about 25 minutes now. Feeling nice and tender, looking like it's ready to go. We're going to pull it out. Let it rest. One of the amazing things that we've been able to figure out a way how to do is still maintain a nice beautiful smoke ring, still have the brisket be nice and juicy and tender with our uh, process. So we basically smoke it at our uh, production kitchen, cool it down, vacuum seal it, and it's ready to go for you guys. We're going to be making some cornbread sandwiches using our buttermilk cornbread that we bake at our restaurant fresh daily. We use uh, buttermilk base flour, obviously some cornmeal. After we're done baking it, we do a nice honey butter glaze on top, which is my favorite. When that comes out of the oven, the whiff takes over the whole restaurant, comes into the office even, and I get out of my chair and I gotta go and, you know, snack on a little piece. Oh man, Whew. that smell, that smell. Look at the steam coming off that baby. I'm actually gonna let it rest for a couple minutes. Very important part about brisket and any kind of meat that you're cooking is letting it rest once it's finished cooking. The bigger the piece of meat, the longer you wanna leave it resting. So our brisket piece here, we're gonna let it rest for maybe five to 10 minutes, then it should be all good. The reason that we do that, because during the cooking process, all of the juices go to the inside of the meat. And then when the cooking process is finished, we take it out, that way we let, let the uh, juices come back out to the outside so that we're slicing it, it's nice and juicy. I'm gonna pile our nice brisket in between piece of our cornbread here. So I'm just going to cut it in half. So if the cornbread that you got from us is still nice and moist and fluffy, you might want to let it sit on the counter for about an hour so it hardens up a little bit during the toasting process. Luckily enough, I had some garlic butter in the fridge. And that's what I'm going to use to toast my beautiful little piece of cornbread here. Make sure that you're buttering both the inside pieces, top and bottom of your sandwich. One part about breading butter, very important to me, is getting all corners of the bread cover because you know you don't want to bite into your sandwich get a little dry piece no one likes that now that my cornbread is all buttered up and ready to go i have a frying pan here that i've been heating up at about a medium heat i'm going to toast the inside of my cornbread where i have put the garlic butter put garlic butter down on the frying pan Ooh. hear that nice little sizzle while that's frying up we're going to check out our brisket still looking nice and juicy so all you need is just a quick little toast just to caramelize you know, the garlic butter on the inside and toast up your bread a little bit. All right, ready to go. Now we're ready for our brisket. As I mentioned last time, it's a very important part when you're cutting the brisket is to find which way the grain is going. You see the fibers of the meat are pulling apart this way. That's very important when you're biting into the brisket. You want it to be nice and tender and fall apart in your mouth. One difficult part when you're looking at the brisket here, as you can see, is the fattier part and the leaner part, called the point of the brisket. So that's where you see the layer of fat that's riding in between the middle. That's where you're, you're gonna find some of the muscles are running against each other, the gray is running against each other, by trying to find the more prominent side where I start my slicing. I'm gonna do some nice thin slices. If only you guys could smell this. Oh wait, you can. If you order online on our store, you'll be able to have this delivered to your house next week. As you can see, the brisket is still nice and juicy. Even though we've smoked it back at our location and it's being delivered to your house, you're gonna reheat it and it'll be just as good as what you have at our restaurant. I've got a few nice slices here. I like to chop it up a little bit before I put it on my sandwich. As you can see, it's still got that beautiful smoke ring on it. Penetrated from our maple wood. I'm gonna stack my brisket here. We're gonna add a little bit of shredded cheese. Slice up a little bit of jalapenos for a little bit of a kick. And we're gonna put it back on the frying pan. We're gonna add a little bit more cheese on top here. Then I'm gonna put my oven on broil. Put my cast iron pan in. Make sure that your frying pan has a metal handle 
not a rubber handle before it goes into the oven, or else that's bad news for you and your fire alarm in your house. So you're gonna to wanna to keep a close eye on your oven while the broil is on. All you're gonna to wanna to do is just melt the cheese on the top while it's melting. Let me get my trusty oven mitt. Here we go. Nice. All right. Got a plate ready right here. Then we're gonna to top it. A little bit of barbecue sauce. A little bit of chipotle mayo. The top on. That. You guys can make this at home if you order our cornbread, brisket, barbecue sauce, chipotle mayo. Make sure if you do, you tag us in your pictures, post them on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to see more videos, meetings at home. I'm going to be making more cool shit. You're going to be making it. You're going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Let's all eat it. Have a great day. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. All right, I'm just gonna let it rest. While it's resting, I'm just gonna let it rest. Make sure you send us your videos. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to keep a quick eye. Is there sauce on my face? Yep. Nice.